And I'm coming to you from Charleston, South Carolina in our she shop where we are making a ton of bongs. We have over 10,000 pieces in the room behind me and we're just blazing this industry and enjoying the process. I started this about five years ago. I'm a career creative. I worked in advertising, marketing, promotions, events, and for clients such as Disney and ESPN and Paramount and the Olympics. And so I come at product development through an experienced eye and a three decades of knowing how to make product. Well, as a consumer of cannabis my whole life, I've always consumed to be creative, to, you know, to be a better, mo better mother, to elevate my game, and cannabis has always helped me create. So, but, um, you know, it's always been a stigma and something that I hid. So it was the invention of trying to create something that didn't have to be hidden that led me to the vase or vase, as you like to say, somebody. Um, and transforming something that was already beautiful into something to consume from. So I had an aha moment though. I was consuming in my home and somebody came to the door. They were working on the building that I was living in and I did the hide the bong dance. I think everybody's done that. And I actually hid my bong amongst my vases in my home. I had one particular vase that was shaped like a bong. And so when this person left and I was like, you know, another clear <laughs> moment, I actually stood there and I looked at the vase and I looked at the bong and saw that they were so similar in shape and so different in aesthetics. And it was that moment that I was like, you know what, I am going to figure out a way to make consumption more beautiful and more acceptable in the home. I mean, you know, my home is my sanctuary like so many of you. and. I love to be able to enjoy my life in my own privacy and, you know, not have to feel like I'm doing something wrong. And I think especially as a woman, um, I felt that some of the paraphernalia out there, some of the water pipes, they were incredibly heady and they, you know, they made me feel like I was, I was doing something that was bad and they were phallic and I was just like, we just have to change this. So in the summer of 2015, I started the process of making one of a kind vases from vintage vases that I would find. I was an antique lover and in my travels, I had a bunch of products, bunch of antiques. And I got a friend and we started going through them, busting a lot of glass. And um, within two years, I made and sold over 1,000 one-of-a-kind vases. And at that point, I decided, you know what? Let's scale this up. Let's do this right. Let's be able to bring a beautiful product into the homes of people who consume cannabis and also make something that's easy to leave out and then turn around, put a flower in it and you're out the door. So a lot of the, um, the results of the product is from the necessity of needing something that was pretty and easy to consume. Well, we're continuing to make beautiful artisan one of a kind pieces and we're also scaling up our signature collections to sell them all over the world. We have women in Australia, we have people in the UK, we in Canada is one of our largest markets outside of the United States. Mexico, every day I'm being asked to send our products down there. So we're really excited to kind of expand this product line on a global basis and to make other lifestyle accessories for cannabis consumers that are beautiful and functional and look great in your home. I'm in Charleston, South Carolina, and it's, this is a prohibition state, um, at least until we legalize marijuana. And so I stay away from the plant in our product development. Um, perhaps when legalization happens, we'll be able to provide some beautiful flower with some of our beautiful flower products. But in the meantime, um, you know, I deal with um, discretion because I respect that a lot of people don't understand how cannabis is now becoming mainstream and especially in the markets that I happen to live in and be part of. So we keep things on the down low. I've been in advertising, so I run an advertising agency. I just happen to develop products and advertise products in the cannabis space as well. So I kind of pivoted into the cannabis industry, which is not unusual for an entrepreneur, is to take something that it's a core structure and pivot into another industry. 
so my favorite product is usually anything that's new that we're working on. But in this case, I have to say I'm sort of, I don't know if you guys have met Stardust. This is my Stardust baby. I love this balm because it's just so elegant and I'm really getting excited about the holiday season. And this is gonna be one of our top sellers for the holiday season for sure. So, um, you know, I think it looks beautiful on a Thanksgiving table or a Christmas dinner table or, a, you know, even like a liquor cart, so, you know, where you have cut crystal and your cabinets, you know, which is part of the whole objective of my bud vase. When I started this, 2015 everything need to be hidden in fact our tagline was hidden in plain sight but now as cannabis becomes more legal it's you know perfectly fine to just turn it around and display your piece beautifully and enjoy it in your home so um this is our baby stardust and and she's a shining star and um she's one of the pieces that we're going to be featuring in the holiday sales for this year Like myself, a necessity breeds invention. So everybody seems to have a moment when there's like something you need that is not out there on the market. If you take that moment, whenever you feel, I need blank, take that moment, whatever you're thinking you need and add cannabis to it. For example, we have friends that have a company called Cannabones and they dealt with um, animals and animals ailments. They're big in dogs and cats and pets. And so they just, they created a line of cannabis products for animals. There was a need for animals to get off of these strong prescriptions given to them by vets. And there's, we know cannabis helps in so many ways. So they merged the two together, you know? So you take the word cannabis and add anything, cannabis and sex, cannabis and, and home decor, cannabis and, in uh, events and if you incorporate cannabis into something you're already good at or you find a necessity to create something in that's how i would recommend getting into the industry the other thing is i've um, managed to build our platform and our business through strategic collaborations partnerships and successful product development uh, so a lot of times people think you have to throw a ton of money to your business to be able to start. But I liked, you know, I like, I started vending on the corner. I started vending on the weekends. I started seeing, you know, customers use my product and built my business based on how it became a necessity for people's home. So for example, we're starting to do more things that relate to not just the bong, but the bong and the tray and the container. That's all because we use cannabis in our home. When you think about areas like um, like Canada, where the necessity is if you, if you have cannabis in your home, you have to have it locked. You know, that just opens up an entire line of locked storage for home consumption. So it's things like that. If you see a need and you add cannabis to that need, that's how I would recommend you get into this space. And don't throw money at, you know, don't waste money on buying relationships in this industry. Just, you know, connect them. I mean, I meet people, I met So Stoned on Instagram because I saw something, I'm like, look what you guys are doing. I like your messaging. We're on brand. We're trying to, you know, elevate the cannabis game. And I reached out and I'm like, hey, if you ever want to do something, let's do something. So maybe we should like, for example, do you think we should give a Stardust away on, on a platform? We should do a collaboration together. Why not? So I tend to want to come up with an idea and make it happen. And that's what I recommend to anybody getting in any business, especially in the cannabis space. You know, be creative, be collaborative and find ways to take what you're doing and get it out to the people that need it. Well, legalization, I feel is so eminent. And with all the problems that we've had, uh, especially this year, you know, the pendulum has to swing. And I feel like cannabis is gonna be kind of hanging on to that swing of the pendulum. This is just my personal opinion, but it appears that, you know, health and wellness is becoming a priority, that the coronavirus has led us to re-examine our own health and wellness, you know, and here's a plant that in many ways can assist you in a healthier lifestyle. So hopefully um, 
legalization will bring within a lot of normalization and a lot of benefits from this plant. I mean, whether it's a salve, a capsule, a tincture, whether it's for a chronic disease, whether it's for, you know, anxiety, whether it's for sleeping, there are so many miraculous ways that cannabis is helping people in their lives. And as legalization opens up, you know, it's just going to enable people to really be able to get access to the plant and find ways that it's going to help them. Again, we talk about opportunities and being an entrepreneur. So I, you know, I was thinking about the senior market, for example. When I look at my Instagram and I look at the people that follow us, you know, 50% of our followers are in the target age, um, you know, 24 to 36. Um, you know, then another 25 are, you know, 18 to 24. And, you know, the senior market, because they're not on Instagram, doesn't even know about our products. And, you know, the 45 above, I, it's just such a small portion of the people that are on our Instagram. So even for myself, that tells me that there's a market that is underserved. There's a market that I know, you know, um, needs cannabis for ailments and for sleeping well and for anxiety and just to enjoy their life. We tend to get so caught up in everything new and young and fresh that we're maybe not looking at an entire demographic that desperately needs this plant. So uh, when I think about what's exciting, at least for us, is to find ways to communicate to that audience and to bring that audience to the light of cannabis. So uh, I, I get very excited to look for photographers to work with or find perhaps seniors in legal states that are enjoying cannabis regularly. You know, maybe um, there are retired people that this is part of their lifestyle and their get together. And instead of, you know, prescriptions or alcohol, they're able to enjoy an evening of, you know, good laughter, good cannabis, good food, good times. So it's things like that as a marketer that I want to reach out to and kind of work towards, you know, finding that I always fight for the underdog and I always, I always look at things that people overlook. Like it's been my vision for my whole career is to find what is right in front of your face, but maybe is not quite so obvious and bring that to the forefront and help that. So that makes me super excited. I'm really excited to support the senior market. I'm excited to, um, See, something new that we just launched was a Walk the Walk collaborative with the Emerald Media Group. And this is a month-long minority um, business support program that helps people walk through their next steps in their business. So it's called Walk the Walk Collaborative, and you can check it out. And maybe we can do something with So Stone with that. And so this is a brand new program that is going to you know, not just talk about what people need, but actually dive into helping you take your next steps. So, uh, Shanitria Anthony of Blunt Blowing Mama is our first entrepreneur that we're working through this collective with. And, you know, we're helping her start a line of merchandise. So, you know, to be able to sit here and to make beautiful products all day and then to actually help people make their dreams come true is what I'm all about and what I'm I'm working on building the right team to bring all these things to fruition and what I'm having one hell of a time doing so that makes me excited and um, you know to pivot into this industry from marketing and from 30 years of making things for other people and to actually be able to make something for myself and to, you know, it's almost like a reminder. Sometimes I have to pinch myself. Like if I have a piece that we're bringing to market and for some reason it's late, shipment, coronavirus, not the right item, I changed my mind, I changed a color. You know, if I were working for corporate America, the pressure um, to, you know, meet those deadlines and budgets and timelines and, you know, to be on that, on that hamster wheel that I was on for 30 years, is really taxing but now I have to constantly pinch myself and go wait you know this is your company and if you decide to launch this in the spring instead of the fall so be it you know so I'm learning how to work as an entrepreneur and honor the flow of the process and respect the universe and what comes our way and 
it's just a nice, nice breath of fresh air. Um, I'm really proud of my career and what I've done over 30 years. Um, I feel like I've had once in a lifetime projects regularly. I've worked on Super Bowls and major events and movie premieres and huge launches and Olympic projects and fundraisers. And so now I'm able to kind of take all that experience and not only change my immediate careers, but hopefully my career paths, but hopefully um, bring some wonderful people along that journey. So, you know, it's it's exactly the reason why I'm here to talk to you and the, the family at So Stone. Uh, just know that this industry is not going to go away. This industry is probably going to get m bigger and more beautiful and more so many more opportunities. Um, there are snakes in the grass. You've got to be careful, but you also need to to realize that when cannabis touches you and it touches you from the heart and it's an industry where you can actually love what you do and you can love who you do it with and do it for and you actually can find a tremendous amount of satisfaction and purpose in being able to work in this industry and you know help this plant liberate and uh, educate and uh, medicate the world. Well, I mean, what's better than that? So anyhow, I, speaking of which, I got to go back to uh, finish our pieces and getting things together for the holiday season. We're in it to, uh, we got a month of October to, you know, like dot the I's, cross the T's, tie the bows, get the packaging, get it all together. And then we're looking forward to a really great holiday season. And we're hoping that 2021 <clears throat> brings some health and some pendulum swinging in a positive way and um, that we can all connect at some events and, and you know, just continue to support one another and grow. So that's what I got for you today. This is Doreen Sullivan from My Bud Vase saying God bless. Have a wonderful week. Mwah. Love you. You guys take care. Be strong. Be creative. And uh, take care of this plant. It needs you to help get it out there. Bye.